An overview of the Zambian economy, it's largely expected to grow 6.5%. Most economists feel that way. Do you concur? Oh, yes, definitely. Things have been uh, looking up for Zambia for the last couple of years. Uh, the copper sector, new mines opening up, mines expanding, new smelters, uh, the agribusiness, uh, a lot of the bigger agribusiness companies expanding themselves and as well as the, 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 the small sector farmers as well. In March, when the IMF visited uh, Zambia, they were quite bullish about the state of the economy. And they were encouraged by the fact that you had a low interest rate uh, regime, that you had low inflation, and that there was a fairly stable exchange rate bolstered by copper prices, as we said earlier on. Fast forward to April, and the world is very threatened by rising food and fuel prices, which should invariably impact on the productivity of the Zambian economy. Can we really say realistically we're going to see 6.5% growth this year? I, I, I think so. I think so. Um, things kind of tend to move quite slowly in Zambia, so sometimes things will happen internationally and we won't really see the impact on it. Um, if you look at most of our food products are exported within the region, Zimbabwe still needs the maize and, uh, and, and the wheat that we're, that mm -hmm. we're, that we're producing. Um, Congo, of course, we also feed the Congo DR as well. Um, I think, I think things, things should move on. The focus when we look at Zambia, especially investment opportunities, is what the Chinese are doing and have done, particularly in investing in extractive industries, especially the mines. Is there another model of investment that is open to other players, not just the Chinese? It's interesting that because when the Chinese make an investment, a lot of fanfare is made out of it, uh, government gets involved, some minister makes a speech, but there is also a lot of other investment going on. First Quantum, uh, the Australian company that operates from yeah. Mine. Uh, recently announced a massive expansion program of what they're doing and most of their other older mines that have been uh, sort of developed over the last three four five years are actually coming into maturity now so uh, there is a lot um, a lot of private businessmen as well uh, some of the the, the, the the Middle Eastern guys the Lebanese people coming in doing a lot of investments of various types printing mm -hmm. sector mm -hmm. into the economy as well for those who are not looking for FDI and you know buying assets and running them in Zambia what opportunities are there in terms of equity on listed companies we know that there's been a lot of excitement when Airtel came in and bought over Zane Kenya it's the expansion of Konkola copper mines what else is there the Airtel saga just a, a, a brief uh, chat about it that one is an ongoing story it is it, it is a situation that we are hoping will be resolved. Mm -hmm. uh, some of our funds have got uh, positions in Airtel, and it is kind of a little bit of a limbo right now, with the mandatory offer having been rejected by the minority share, some of the minority shareholders. It's gone to court now. Uh, hopefully, maybe there will be some mediation or some settlement uh, to make sure that things are followed according to procedure. We, as the investment community in Zambia, don't want Airtel to go. Yeah. You know, they, they really were the they market cap of $743 million, million. It's a big company. It was providing a lot of liquidity in the market. So we're really hoping that uh, maybe they'll, they'll see things differently mm -hmm. and, 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 and stay. In terms of, sorry, the other, the other part of the question? Just, just generally, uh, other companies that people should look at and, and sectors in particular. The agribusiness sector is the one that everybody talks about when they look at Zambia, apart from the mining, of course, um, which is mostly represented by Zambif. The banking sector is also quite strong. Mm. Uh, what's happening is that in the, in the old days, Zambians used to have a very bad credit culture. Mm. They'd borrow money and buy a Mercedes. Nowadays, they're actually borrowing money and actually, to actually pay it back. So the banks have been doing quite well. In terms of uh, most people looking at Africa, look at the yeah. BBT, the banks, breweries, and telecoms. And the, the, the breweries also strong. Saab Miller has got a very mm. strong presence and 100% market, almost 100% market share. Uh, but for investors wanting to come into Zambia, there is the caveat, the limitation that is posed by liquidity. It mm -hmm. makes it quite difficult for investors to buy shares in that market. What are authorities doing to rectify that? Well, looking at it historically, most of our listed companies were a legacy of the old nationalization and then subsequent privatization in the early 90s. So. A lot of the companies, you look at your Lafarge Cement Zambia, your British American Tobacco Cement Zambia, your Standard Chartered Bank Zambia, they, they still have their European, list, European company, holding mm -hmm. company, holding 
60 to 70, 90 percent of the company. I'm not so sure about that changing. An interesting thing that's happening is that Standard Chartered Zambia is just doing a bonus issue, a one to five split, and that should be should bring about right. a lot more liquidity into the market with actual more actual shares. They're raising up their their statutory right. capital. Finally, the bond market's picking up. We also know that Fitch has uh, uh, given Zambia more favorable B plus credit rating. How's that going to impact on bonds, especially a lot of series of uh, corporate bonds that are to be issued? Well, first of all, the B plus was was great. You know, it might not be as high as we would have wished it to mm. be, but looking at where Zambia was 10, 7, uh, 20 years ago, you know, things have really improved and things are moving on. Um, it has, it has led to some of the um, larger companies looking to start issuing some euro bonds as well. Zambia itself, as the government, is looking to issue a euro bond, and I'm not sure exactly how far that has yeah. gone, but I would envisage it for maybe Q3 or Q4 this year.